Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Kim Tech. My name is Kim and Tea Time is where I'll share IT related stories or non-technical information with you all. I do have my tea here with me. I am drinking lavender milk tea. Go ahead and grab your drinks or choice of beverages and we shall get started. Let's go. For our first Tea Time, I'll be sharing with you my CISSP journey. This video is just about the journey I took and a little bit about my background to help you put in perspective of how this relates to your situation. I'll have a separate video on tips and what I find helpful or not helpful because it'll be too much just to put all in this video. Now, if I keep looking at this way, cause I do have my notes that I wanna make sure that I cover everything for you guys. Now to start, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you already know what CISSP is, but if you don't, that's totally fine. It stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. It's an independent information security certification granted by the ISC Square. And one of the highest, if not the top security certificate to take if you're in the IT field, especially security. As for my background, let's get to know me better, shall we? It'll be quick, I promise. I can go into depth of my IT journey, if anyone cares, at a different time. So to be brief, in 2013, I got my first job three months before I graduated. Now this is my first IT job as a support coordinator at a mid-sized company of about a thousand employees at that time. Then I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Information Security from a career college. In 2015, I studied and passed my Security Plus. In case you're wondering, I did not renew it. In 2016, I became, got promoted as um, a support specialist at the same company. 2020, became Security Admin, same company still. Mid-May 2021, got a new job as a cybersecurity analyst at a different company. Now that we have my background out of the way, let me share with you how my study went. I started my uh, study in July 2021 with three books, since my job was strictly eight to five. Here are the books, they're a bit heavy for me to hold. Um, so it, I started with the Cybex official study guide, the eighth edition, and I bought it as a bundle with the official practice study guide. And then I also bought the 11th hour, the third edition. Now I read through the official study guide from Cybex once without any note taking um, or highlighting, but I did answer the questions at the end of each section. After that was done, I read it, I read it for a second time, took notes, highlighted, and we answered the question at the end. Then watch FR Secure free videos from domain about each domain and mind maps video from destination certification on YouTube every day. I'd watch one mind map video and one hour of FR Secure a day since I was still working and reading the book after work. Every time I had to drive somewhere, run errands, I'd play those videos and would just listen during my drive. Um, it helped with the repetitions um, to kind of stick it into my memory. I started taking simulated practice exams from random free online sources a month later. So around August. Nothing worth mentioning though. I'd also watch many YouTube videos, how people pass their CISSP and read the Reddit sub forums of people CISSP success stories and not so positive ones. So I could learn from them. Now, three months in, I was still taking notes from reading the Cybex official study guide for the second time. And I also purchased the Boson practice exams for $99 for 700 questions. I think there were four exam simulations with 150 each exam. 
I took one exam simulation each weekend and interchanged it every other week with the Cybex, Cybex practice exams. So I did one boson exam one weekend, and the next weekend I would take the Cybex practice exam. At the end of each practice exam session, I reviewed each and every questions I got wrong and each one that I was guessing. And boy, were there a lot. I then printed the sunflower summary. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I printed on a giant 11 by 17 paper and pretty much I noted my incorrect answers or any questionable details in the correlating domain so I would have all the info and that I can read to, through it later. At the end of month three, September, I booked my exam date for October 2021. Was I ready to take the exam? Nope, not even close. Now, I know it's insane, especially since the test is $749 US dollar about $800, which I do consider to be very expensive. I was definitely rushing it, but I wanted to quit my job so badly that I took the risk anyways. I finally finished reading the Cybex book for the second time in the beginning of the fourth month, October. I started watching other CISSP prep and cram videos from Inside Cloud and Security and two videos from Kelly Handerham, why you would pass a CISSP and 10 minute curables. Now, two weeks before the exam, my scores were still 65 to 68%. You need 70% to pass. I was very stressed at work one week before the exam date. So I asked my husband if I could quit, if I failed the exam and study full time for the retake in December because you can retake 30 days after you fail the first attempt. Me out of a job would mean that he would have to carry for us while we had a mortgage to pay for. He was very, very sweet and logical, he agreed for me to quit with a caveat that regardless of the second attempt result, I would have to start looking for a job. Now he agreed for me to quit right away, um, which allowed me to have one week straight of studying before the exam date. The week of the exam, I read through the sunflower summary with emphasis on my highlights and notes that I had on there. My exam was at 1.15 p.m. When I was driving to the test center, I listened to Kelly Handerham's video on why you will pass the CISSP. The actual exam was different from what I had practiced. I took too long on a lot of the questions, so I never got to the 100th question by the end of the exam of three hours. I was around 90 something question, so I ended up automatically failing the exam. I was devastated because I had studied every day, including weekends, since July. I only took breaks when I had to run errands, go to work, or do chores. I came home that day from the testing center and didn't study at all. But I did book my next exam 30 days out because I was not going to give up. The next day, I woke up and was back at the grind. I'm going to include my results here so you can see it's pretty self-explanatory. I did write down the domain number so I could figure out where my strong points were and my weak points. This time, I decided to pay for other exams recommended by the CISSP community, such as CISSP Rep and Study Notes and Theory. Aside from the paid practice, I also reviewed free questions from Adam Gordon on LinkedIn. I took practice quizzes every day 
and practice exams each weekend. I was in contact with Luke from Study Notes in Theory and Seth from CISSP Rep quite often since I emailed them whenever I didn't understand why I got the questions wrong. Hope they weren't too bothered by my frequent contact. My daily routine after my first fail attempt was woke up and exercise. While exercising, I watch mind map videos. Now my exercise were around 30 to 40 minutes. After finishing my exercise, I ate breakfast and took a practice quiz. Finished quiz, ate lunch while watching videos from mind maps or study notes and theory. Finished lunch, washed dishes, and then went over the answers. I was done reviewing the answers by around 4 p.m. I made dinner, ate, and reviewed notes from the sunflower summary. 30 minutes before bed, I would diagram processes that I had trouble with. I rinsed and repeated every day until the day before the exam. The day before the exam of my second attempt, I read through my notes and watched the mind map videos on trouble concepts and domains that I scored poorly on on the first exam. My exam this time was at 8, p 8 a.m. Sorry, 8 a.m. So I made sure I had a healthy breakfast and that the breakfast would last me through the three hours of the exam. On the way to the exam center, I decided to play some of my favorite songs and sing along to them to clear my mind and calm my nerves. During the exam, I paced myself because I didn't want to fail due to not meeting the minimum questions answered again. My exam ended at about 100 20 something questions. I was extremely exhausted. My brain was completely fried. I came out of that exam center, got my results, and I was expecting to fail. I skimmed a paper for my below N or new proficiency domain while walking down the hallway, but I couldn't find any. So I stopped and actually read the results and saw the word congratulations. congratulations. You couldn't believe the amount of joy that rushed through my brain and body. I choked and I called my husband as I was walking down the stairs into the parking structure. Unfortunately, he didn't pick up the phone since he was in a meeting. So I ended up calling my mom. I bursted into tears when she answered her phone. She thought something bad had happened to me, but I told her the amazing news and we went out for lunch. My husband did call me back after he saw the family text that I passed. He was definitely very, very proud of me. I feel to this day, I'm very blessed and thankful that I was able to function, thought through the process, and selected the best answers. I'm now a year in with my CISSP certification, and to be able to say that I passed, I'm still overjoyed thinking about it. That was my journey. So I'll end our tea time here. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. That was a lot of blabbering on my part. Now it's your turn. Tell me about yourself in the comment below. If you're studying, how are you doing? When's your exam? If you've passed the CISSP, how was your experience? Anything you wanna share, let me know. Or if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them the best I can without breaching the NDA. I hope that you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day or night, wherever you are, my buddies. Until next time.
Bye.